Hello, my fellow anti bottom fighters, and welcome back for more Super Granny with Conus Boy. And today we're taking on more of the beautiful looking coves. This place reminds me of the crystal underground areas from Yoshi's Island. Sort of, like. I'm gonna applaud the first game for something. They have some awesome backgrounds. One criticism I have about Super Gr uh, about uh, see my I can't even talk. Granny and Paradise is that its backgrounds do get kind of bland. Not all the time. The factory background is all right. The resort and the jungle backgrounds are just bleh. Um, what else? What else? The volcano background is awesome. The volcano and the underwater background, those are awesome though. <laughs> the underwater background of that game reminds me of Aquatic Base from Sonic 06. Uh, did, did I mention that? I meant to say it reminded me of... What? Never mind. <laughs> I almost forgot that was a voice clip. I have heard that voice clip before. Okay, let's see. I just need to grow one more vine and then I can get up to the parasol again. Level 43 is named Never Too Old for a New Trick. Is this really that new a trick? It's kind of boring. Anyway, this level pretty much you should already know. The parasol gyms your horizontal descent so you can actually change your horizontal direction when falling. Because you cannot actually control Granny when you're falling. Like normally you just fall straight down. Yeah, unless you have the parasol. Okay. Granny to the rescue. Level 44. Ropes and umbrellas and cats. Oh mine. Okay, I can sense that this level is going to be <laughs> a teeny bit annoying. Here, kitty kitty. Alright, let's let's hope for the best. That gnome is going to be and annoyance. At least, at least I know what is dirt here. It's these purple colored things. So as long as I know that I'm fine. You're not getting out of there, no. Like, pretty much if you stand on the patch of dirt where an enemy was in, they won't, re they won't be able to get out. It's something I learned in Granny in Paradise. Oh, come on. Don't throw me. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> you can't even get my cats. You're so worthless. Is Oh, I missed the cat. Well, so much for my taunt. Okay, let's see. Oh, I didn't miss him. He just... Uh, I, that's what I don't like about the cat AI. There we go. Where's the exit flower? Okay, it's back there. That's what I don't like about the cat AI. Sometimes it's like I get the cat, but then they get stuck in a corner and then... It throws off my entire strategy. Alright, looks like this cove area is filled with a ton of monkey bars and a ton of parasol. It's raining cats and cats. What the heck? Okay, now that is a unique level. I have not seen that yet. <laughs> what the heck is this? I have not seen that in a future Super Granny game yet. The cats are just standing there. Wow. Okay, okay, never mind. Never mind about the level design. This is awesome. <laughs> Raining cats. Oh man. Yeah, this is awesome. This is flipping awesome. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just cannot handle what this is. How are the cats in mid air not falling? What is gravity? What am I even looking at? <laughs> okay, this is actually a really fun level. It looks so amusing. It also looks completely broken, by the way. There we go, got everything. And now, no, go down to the Meow Go. Ah, oh, crud. I think that gnome is gonna be an annoyance, so I'm just gonna get rid of him. Goodbye. Alright, now into the meow go. And there's the exit flower, nice. Okay, that was a fun level, I'm liking this world already. I thought this world loves parasols, I'm gonna say that right now, this world loves parasols. 
I mean like it's a ton of parasol gimmicks. It's like seriously, dude. I understand that this is the world maybe supposed to teach us how parasols work, but don't you think that's a little overkill? I still don't know why I'm getting the hearts. As I said, when you quit the game, the game doesn't actually save your lives counter, so I don't get why I'm getting the hearts for, because the hearts are basically just for extra life. Now where am I, kitty? Okay, level 46 is cats. Cats everywhere, the cats. Okay, now this game is starting to remind me of Granny in Paradise with its cluttered level design, but it's okay because the difficulty curve is still okay so far. Although I've noticed I'm not getting the super flowers this often now. I can see why. Oh dear. Okay, where is the watering can? I think I see it. Okay, there it is. And the gnome is gonna get out. Yeah, I've noticed that. The gnome basically follows the gorilla enemy from later games. Where basically, when it falls into a hole, it's able to get out. Unless you literally stand on top of them, then they won't be able to get out. Or if you trap them twice in a row, I believe. I forget what the condition is. Okay, where is your respawn point? Please don't be somewhere terrible. I knew it. Wait. I was wondering if I duck there, he will be able to climb onto the vine and then get across. I forgot. It doesn't matter. That was an atrocious respawn point. He almost fell right on top of me. Okay, there we go. I'm doing good so far. This one is just um, from left to right with the parasol. Almost. I'm gonna have to dig. Okay, I admit, this is starting to be a bit of a difficulty spike with the puzzles. They are getting a bit annoying. The gnome is getting annoying too. Okay, I'm staying on top of you. You have been an annoyance to me this whole level. Yeah, the puzzles are starting to get a tad annoying. Again, I understand this is the third world and I think we are getting kind of close to the halfway point already. Oh, all of the cats are here, I forgot. Oh, my precious. I think I should, um... The first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of you. <laughs> and stay on top of you. Actually, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters because the way I'm going requires monkey bars. He won't be able to get to me. Oh, you sneaky troll. He would have trapped me. He would have trapped me. He would have trapped me right there because that was the only way down. Okay. You little s Do I really want to risk it? No, I want to get rid of him. That is a really, really, really sneaky AI move. He would have literally trapped me there because there was only one way for me to go down and if he had just stayed in that platform all the way, I would be quite done. Because as you can see, that- Oops, oops. <laughs> this is the only way down. If he had literally stayed here, there would have been no way for me to- See, that's what I mean. The gnome is unpredictable. I don't know what he wants to do, where he wants to go. Whatever. Uh, the exit flower is mine. Thank you. This is getting annoying. I do like the little raindrops effect this level has though. It's really neat. And that was level 46. Cats, cats everywhere, the cats, and Super Granny. If you enjoyed this episode of Super Granny and the cave level and parasol, then do feel free to leave a like. Hit that like button. Ugh, see, I'm muzzling up my outro. The gnome is actually starting to get to me. Subscribe to be an anti bottom fighter. Comment down your thoughts or share this video, and I'll see you guys next time for more Crystal Caves in Super Granny. Ahem, it seems like you ain't bothering with hindering Conus in this game. What's the point, Ozzy? He's playing as an old granny, the eponymy of boredom. There's no fun in stopping him here. Well then, if you won't stop him, Darab, I will. <laughs> What's an elderly's greatest weakness? Falling from heights! <laughs>